Yo team, what is good? Welcome back to another video. Now, we'll start the video, sat down, we're gonna talk about this topic. Uh, it's somewhere in the title, or the thumbnail, or whatever it is. Sports massage, more specifically, cupping, and uh, why I've been doing it, and how, how it's been affecting me. So, this was my second session with Ziggy, and we try and get a, a session in once a month. I call it my monthly MOT. I just feel like, with the amount of training I'm doing, where I've switched up training to, to CrossFit, I've probably put my body under a little bit more stress. I feel like I noticed that as well. I am doing a lot more mobility, which is helping, uh, but this is another thing that I want to factor into to help aid with the recovery. Uh, sports massage in general, Ziggy is quality, he's down in Southampton, so I will leave his information below. Uh, he's put up a couple of informative posts as well, which I'll pop up so you can read about uh, sports massage and more specifically cupping, because it's something that I was really, really curious about, and when I ch chatted to Ziggy about it, thought it might um, help some of you to be informed. So, he has actually messaged me about uh, cupping and what it does, so I thought I'd read it rather than just chat, tell a load of lies to you. Um, but more to the point, I've been feeling great after these sports massages. I feel like my lifts feel, the movement within my lifts feel a bit more free. I just feel a bit loose within my body, and yeah, I'm enjoying sort of having a bit more freedom within the movement. Uh, another thing that Zeke does is like, before and after the sessions, he'll make you test your ability for and after, and it's really interesting to see sort of the improvements throughout. So, a lot of uh, active stretching, uh, we do cupping, massaging, gun work, that's the, the general gist of the sports massage. But for you guys that, that are interested, uh, there are different types of cupping. Ziggy does dry cupping, he does it because it's the most researched type of cupping. Um, you can sort of, sort of see the suction. I think I've got a clip of Beth's on again, suction cupped. Um, but basically, cupping increases blood flow, uh, and therefore, in the area that it works, it helps increase blood flow within the muscle, which will then aid recovery. Um, also, interesting fact that the cup marks are not bruises, it's where the blood flow has risen to the surface, and that's why it looks dark. And apparently, the area that the darkest, that is where your blood flow is the most restrictive. Yo team, what is good? It's been, a, it's been a minute, it's been a long week. After that massage on Friday, I got so ill. So I took a whole week off training, well, more like 12, 12 days I haven't trained for. I haven't done anything. Yesterday was the first day I properly went out for a walk. Been working a little bit, but barely working. Anyway, we saw these new lifters come in. This was a purchase I made when I was at home off ill, bored. But anyway, it's a great price. It was 100, 180 quid. They're currently down to about 100, and then if you're a member, October 21st. So if you're still, they might still be on, they might still have a few sizes left. I will link it below, but first run out for the bad boys today. Okay team, let's check in. Neighbours. I haven't fallen off the face of the planet, even though it has felt like that, to be fair. Oof, God, I can't even remember the last thing I filmed. Uh, so let's try and run you up to speed. But after that session, you could just hear, I was just coughing bare. I literally couldn't stop coughing all workout. So I rested again the remainder of that week. So I've literally done two workouts in about three weeks. First session back at CrossFit today, which feels like forever, so I'm sorry about that. Anyway, let's give these a quick run over. First of all, I think they look sick. They're a lot cooler than the Addy Powers that I have been using. Uh, two straps, tightening for lifting. Goes through the sole, which is kind of mad. Um, 
the only workout I've done with this is that snatch workout like you've seen. They feel comfy. I don't know if you noticed, but I actually didn't have this strap through. They were real tight across the toe here, across the bridge of the foot there. Um, but real comfy shoe. Seem good. I like I like the feel of them. My my Addy powers have always been really really tight. I like these. These are cool. The more we work out in them, the more I will be able to give you a proper review. And then it looks like I've been spending a lot of money. I've actually had a little bit of spending spree. I don't know why. I think it's because I was ill. I had a spending spree. We just picked up a pair. My first pair. Well, actually, I had a pair, but they were too small. So I'm really hoping these fit. Adidas. What do we reckon? But, boom. Pair of 700s. Now this colorway is actually called, don't know, I can't even pronounce that. Someone tell me what the colorway is down below. But we picked up the latest pair of 700s. Now I actually think that's a really, really nice colorway. The loud orange sole, uh, and then everything else is pretty, really subtle. My favorite 700 is obviously the Wave Runner. I feel like this is actually quite similar silhouette in terms of the, obviously the colours. So hopefully they fit. I've got them in a uh, in a nine, but I do think you need to size up. I only half size up. So we'll try them on, see what they like. Definitely get them in the rotation. En route to CrossFit. First one for a long old while. It's been at least three weeks. So the anxiety is already kicking in. Workouts as followed. One max, 10 minutes to find a one rep max box jump, which I'm quite gassed for. I haven't done a box jump or a high box jump in a long time. So that would just be nice, a bit different. It's also, I do want enough, quite an easy way to, to get back into CrossFit and, and training in general. So I don't want to go too crazy. So uh, 10 minutes to find your highest box jump. After that, four rounds of time, 500 meter row, 21, no, 12 burpee pull-ups, 21 box jumps. Pretty tasty, but no weight, just body weight. So that, that's probably what I need to get back into CrossFit. So we'll check in there, we'll see how we get on. Red Raw again, aren't I? Woo! That fucked me up. I thought it was going to be an easy one to come into. <sighs> that conditional workout. And I didn't film any as well, which was quite annoying, but it was a really good workout. But just savage. Legs are fried. Uh, 941 total cows. Max heart rate. Let's see, because I think it's going to be fairly high. Oh, here we go. 192. Becky is savage. Just finished big pump session I feel, I feel quite good at the minute after those box jumps my calves were in agony all week but a nice full week of training well I say full week it's Thursday I'm trying to get the video live tonight I'm going to set the past tomorrow so that's my training week done um first of all while we're on the talk of box jumps how class was it that guy holding me up every jump oh, oh. Uh, we managed to static jump 50 inches, which is apparently quite decent. I felt like LeBron James when I was up there. Uh, and then we did step jump, so a little step and jump up 52, but it was bad timing, the bloke stood in front of it. So I did it once, but put my hand down, so I wanted to do it again, did it again, but you probably couldn't see because the bloke stood in front. Um, been wearing the lifters all week. I've done a lot of Olympic lifting, a lot of squatting, first time squatting for a month. Definitely feel different. I feel like they try and pull me forward a bit. But it's just getting used to a different shoe, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'll keep using them. And the final point I want to say before I wrap up this video 
it's a bit of a bit of a negative subject, but I want to use this platform for a positive end. If any of you are still at the end of the video and watching, I appreciate you, and you're probably the people that will help out. So, um, to cut a long story short, one of my school teachers' wives has cancer, stage four cancer. I can't remember the exact cancer that she has. Uh, they moved to Hong Kong. They live in Hong Kong. They have three young boys, um, and she needs to raise, or they need to raise, three hundred and fifty thousand pounds to get the treatment the treatment is starting like 30 treatments over two years so it's a massive process like they need to do loads we're there trying to raise 350 grand now if anyone can just share donate whatever they can do to help i feel like we're using this platform for something positive and that's exactly what i set out to do with this platform so that will be the first link the just given page will be the first link in the bio if you can share it, put it on your socials, donate, whatever it may be, I'd really appreciate it. And it just feels like, do you know I didn't even sleep the other night because I'm one of three boys. The, the, his three kids are so young and it's just an awful situation. So they're doing really, really well. When I donated, it was at about 75 grand. I think they're closer to 100 grand now. So that's great. But obviously still a long way to go. Anyway, I'm going to round up the video here. Hope you enjoy. If you enjoy, smash that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.